Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Facebook ads in 2023, some new techniques that I've learned. It is nearly August 2023, and what has happened is that I found a little hack uh, using video ads that are like shorts, uh, very short, concise content, using a lot of transitions, and it's been you doing very well for me. I generated 600 leads just recently in the real estate realm, which is very difficult in today's age. So let's go to this client here, lead generation real estate. So those that have uh, just barely getting started with Facebook ads, Facebook ads is broken down into three different levels. The campaign level, which is your overall objective. Uh, Facebook is very smart. They use AI. They have about 10,000 uh, interest points on every person, you or me, what we like. They know they are tracking every single thing. So they know people that like to fill out forms. They know people just like to watch videos. They know people that are looking for houses and that, that are, you know, uh, they just want to do like brand awareness. They know people that like to look at what's the reason why I'm saying these specific things is because this is going to be the choices inside of a campaign. So if let's take this campaign and we open this up. We'll go here to edit. Then inside here, you're going to see how this one's set up. OK, so as you're going to start here, you're going to name it something. Uh, I, I highly recommend you put um, your goal. So this is lead generation in this case and real estate for a certain area, blah, blah, blah. Whatever your thing is, maybe men's. I mean, uh, maybe you're selling clothes. So you may put lead generation dash clothes or whatever. Just something that makes sense to you. But the first word needs to be your overall goal. So if you're going to be video views, you put video views. If you're going to be brand awareness, just put brand, branding, something like that. If you're a special ad category, this is going to mostly fall for United States people. We have to go. We have to declare if we are in the, if we're selling real estate, if we're selling credit, employment, or politics. Um, the reason why is because they're going to be watching very closely to make sure that you don't do anything funny against the law. For instance, when you're selling houses, you may you cannot discriminate against you know age, uh, you know gender employment, anything like that. We cannot discriminate. A long time ago, Facebook, about seven to eight years ago, we could, but that changed. Some people were complaining and really threw us for a loop. But if you're in credit repair or employment, you cannot do that. Same thing, you cannot discriminate. And social elections, they want to make sure they know who's who putting ads out there because, you know, things that happen with, you know, some politics. I don't want to get into that. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, you have to start with what country you're in or what country, not that you're in, but where your ads are going to be posted at. OK, so and that's big, because if you go to Indonesia, you don't have to do these categories for declarations of housing, employment, all that good stuff. Um, and then the auction type, I mean, the buying type, you want to do auction. In this case, lead generation is just going to be set to auction. See here, it says lead generation. The goal has already been selected. And as soon as you select that, it, it's going to be an auction. Some things will not be changeable when they're grayed out like that. So uh, now if you want to do a campaign spending limit, you just edit here. You can add a campaign spending limit. And what that's going to do is going to do a couple of things. Here, you put your ad, let's say, for instance, you put $4,000, you already spent $2,700. But $4,000, uh, say it's too low, blah, blah, blah. So let's just put in 8,000 just for kicks, okay? 8,000 US dollars, that goes there. But I don't want to change that, but just FYI, if you do that, it's going to allow you to schedule your, it gives you a little bit of a benefit. So Facebook is saying, hey, this guy's going to spending a lot of good money because what happens is if you do, oh, this one's a daily limit. So I'm setting 20 to $25, but, um, if you were to set just an overall budget like this eight thousand dollars or whatever you put in here it's going to allow you to schedule posts on a time basis so it's a little benefit so uh facebook loves that you're saying hey he's going to spend this much money so a benefit is going to allow you to say hey i want to run my ads monday through friday from 8 a.m to 8 p.m central standard time when i'm in front of the computer and that can be very advantageous if you would need to make a call, so high ticket items, you need to make a you know a call within the first five or 10 minutes, you know, because that lead gets cold very fast. So this could be very advantageous, but in this specific thing, I'm not gonna do this because this is a real world example, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so that's just one big plus. Let, now we're gonna move on to, the, remember the campaign level is the overall goal. 
whether it's going to be lead generation, website views, uh, video views, or just brand awareness. And each one of these things is going to have their benefits. So lead generation specifically is going to have a built-in web that's going to pop up that we can ask questions like, are they pre-approved? Uh, how soon are you looking by? Whatever questions you want to put in there. That's going to help us because they stay on the platform. It makes it very easy and it's pre-populated with their information. First thing, last thing, email, phone number. All that gets already pre-populated, which really helps out. Of course, you go to the website, you can do that. And I, it, it's great to do that sometimes, especially if you have a low ticket item. Uh, but I really seen it does really well with a high ticket item that's over $50 that you have to bring these people on a journey and teach them and actually give them uh, give them a lot of value, value, value and create a re real relationship. And, and it just, you use automation uh, to do this. So don't think that you have to do this. Don't even try this by yourself. Do not try to do this by yourself at all. So if you're not using any automation, like uh, you have to have an email sequence set up for at least 10 to 15 days. I really say three months. Um, and then what's it happens? They're gonna get an email and an SMS for the next, you know, once a day for the first, you know, 10 or 14 days, intense because that's when they're hot or based on their criteria when they enter. So if they're looking for a house and you know, in one to three months, you put them in an intense program. If they're looking for a six months, 12 months, then you put them in a lower intense, you know, lower the intensity down and fire up as it gets closer to that day, if that makes sense. And we use automation to do that. And so I'm using Go High Level. The link is in the description. It's a free two week trial. You don't even need to put a credit card in there. Try it out first because it changes your life. It changes the, the automation game is re donkey. So let's do, now that we started the campaign level, we have a good overall goal of what the campaign level is in Facebook ads. We're going to move one level down and we're going to be going into the campaign ad sets. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna break it down. So you might wanna just take a little break. Let's take a, get a paper, get a pen and paper, write those notes down. Make sure that you really understand that the Facebook ads start with the campaign level. That's the overall go. Write the links down. Each, remember, each one is gonna have its benefits. So lead generation and website views will have their benefits. Video views will have that. Brand awareness will have different little uh, options based on that selection, but it all starts on that campaign level. So this is part one. We're gonna break it off, I would say, into three or four different parts because it's gonna get intense. It's really a free Facebook ad course for 2023. Just blowing it out there for you guys, hoping giving you value. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'm gonna be throwing a lot of cool videos out your way. I'm Alan, I'm a professional marketer. I've been doing it for nearly 20 years. Started in Google AdWords and doing all kinds of dynamic keywords and all that. I'm still doing cool stuff with that. So we're gonna talk about that later and Facebook and dynamic stuff like that and creating them on the fly. And uh, yeah, we're, we've been working with Amazon. That's gonna be cool. So hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you can be alerted when new video or marketing ads come out that you can really grow with. And there's nothing for me to sell here. Um, you know, I'm just really giving value because there's plenty of money to be made, lots of money to be made. And people think that giving, oh, giving a secret away. No, it's not. Because the people that you know are going for your market, there's tons of it. People are always buying. So let's just make money and let's prosper together. Do me a favor, hit that like button and I'll see you on the next video. Just hit that little, there's gonna be a couple of uh, things that pop up. Hit that video.